I'm in Scotland for around half my life, but the thing is, is that, like, I've never really explored Edinburgh. So today I changed that by seeing everything it has to offer. If you enjoy them, please subscribe because it'd really help me out. But now, just enjoy the video. So, off to Edinburgh today. And as you've seen in my previous videos, the best way into Edinburgh from North Berwick is by train. Just arriving into Edinburgh Waverley Station now. So first, there's somewhere I need to show you, and it is just down here. A statue of Greyfriars Bobby. For those who don't know, Greyfriars Bobby was a Northern Sky Terrier who lived in 19th century Edinburgh. And when he was adopted by his owner, John Grey, a policeman, they were inseparable for two years. But in 1858, John Grey passed away from tuberculosis. For the next 14 years, Grey Fry's Bobby spent most of his time at his owner's grave. And every day when the one o'clock gun would go off, Grey Fry's Bobby would make his way over to a particular bar every single day, the same one. And this bar has now been known as Greyfriars Bobby's Bar. Greyfriars Bobby was soon the main attraction of Greyfriars. And when he died in 1872, they built a statue of him and he's buried in Greyfriars Kirkyard. And that is where I am now, but for a different reason. You see, apparently JK Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter book series, came here to come and find names of her characters. So I'm going to see if I can find the graves where she got the names of the characters from. I don't think that's one. That's one McGonagall for Professor McGonagall. And there's one Moody for Mad Eye Moody. And there is another one that's quite tricky to read, but that's for Sirius Black. And wow, that's definitely copied Thomas Riddle for Tom Riddle, aka Lord Voldemort. But now it's time to head up there. And in we go. So we just need to climb up here, but just look at that view. That is absolutely stunning. This castle is definitely a must-see in Edinburgh. And now it's getting nearer to 1pm, so the 1 o'clock gun will go off. The tension right here in the crowd, wow. There is literally a sea of cameras. amazing and it is great that I got a front row view of it as well. It really is a spectacular view and I wonder if that thing on the wall is actually real gold. And this must have been like the old prison so let me tell you a bit more about it. So this prison is a military prison where prisoners will be held in solitary confinement until they were moved to here. I mean, can you imagine just being, like, in your hammock here with, like, 50 other people? It would just not be the best at all. It is literally so dark here. So, I've just come out now, and I think now I'm going to leave the castle and have one last walk through Edinburgh. That church is really grand, but it kind of doesn't suit it. And the same goes for that one. So, now back to North Berwick. And now I'm back in North Berwick, and now at the caravan. Now this is what you call a nice tea. But it's getting quite late, I think I'm gonna head off to bed now. And it's the next day now, and unfortunately I'm leaving North Berwick. I've had a great time here recording the Inchcomb video, the Bass Rock video, and today's video. But it doesn't really matter how much I've done, I just know I have to come back one day. With that thought in my head, I headed home along the coast. And so, I think all I have to say now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.